Uh, well, you know, I've seen a lot of new things come and I've seen a lot of new things go. So I always look for the entrance strategy and the exit strategy. It's like, when is it going to show up? How long will it be sexy? When it will pass into everyday use and when it will become obsolete. So, you know, I see it as part of a great historical parade, really. Well, you know, it depends on what you mean by future, like near future, middle future, late future, very long, very long term future. Well, you know, I'm very interested in Italy because of its long history. You know, and the future is just a kind of history that hasn't happened yet. So, you know, Italian historical continuity is of a lot of, a lot of interest to me. And, you know, even though times are tough under the austerity, Italy has survived much tougher situations and has shown a lot of creativity and resilience. So, um, you know, I, I look for that. And when I see it pop up, I, I, I tend to, like, publicize it and, and associate myself with it. And, um, you know, it, it's, uh, I don't know. I mean, they're just areas of unique vitality here. Uh, you know, I, I live in uh, sort of three cities. I live in Austin, where my heart is, and I live in Belgrade, which is a very soulful place. But in Torino, I'm very intelligent, just smarter, right? And I don't know what it is, what it is about Torino that actually makes me smarter, but yeah, I just get more done. So um, I don't know how you bottle that and export it, but uh, it's a reality. Early days of digitizing household objects and kind of wearables and so forth. There will be a lot of failures, but there will be some, you know, grand successes. And eventually it'll just become part of everyday life and people will stop talking about it.